Welcome back to The David Pakman Show. The David Pakman Show membership program is made possible in part by liberalbias.com. When the facts don't agree with Fox News, how do you know which one is right? Well, you head on over to liberalbias.com to get all the answers. Larry Jordan. Larry Jordan has been in touch with us for a while, and he is now a David Pakman Show member, and we're glad to have him. Larry Jordan always sends great emails in with suggestions for the show, and I couldn't say enough good things about uh, Larry Jordan. Welcome to the family. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. And the bonus show is hosted by me now, so yeah. there's an added bonus. An added bonus for David Pakman Show members now that Lewis hosts the David Pakman Show bonus show. Great stuff. Find out, find out more at davidpakman.com. Okay, let's get right into some of these incredible stories that I have for you today. Anthony Sanchez beat his stepson for dropping a baseball when they were playing catch in the backyard. And the incredible video was actually captured by, the, by a neighbor. Let's play some of this video. And I guess I should issue a general warning that the video may be considered somewhat graphic. You don't really see too, too much. Uh, but uh, let's take a look at it and I'll describe. Let's keep the volume low so I can describe to our radio audience what's happening here, Lewis. The guy is holding a belt and he's, he's whipping his son with it. And then he is uh, going back and tossing a baseball there. Okay, let's look at it one more time if we can. Um, if, if we can, Lewis. Here we go. Being beaten with a belt by his stepfather after dropping the ball playing catch. It was all caught on tape, and a neighbor recorded this video. Okay. And it turns out that the so man involved. So I got, first of all, number one, it's interesting that this is the stepson, isn't it? Because usually you would think, in general, in more situations, the beatings are administered not by step parents, but by actual parents. For whatever reason, I don't know what that tells us, but would you guys agree that that's, that's more common? Not really. It's kind of a cliche that step parents are going to be beating their kids. I mean, it's in like movies all the time and TV shows and whatnot. Yeah, but I'm talking about in reality. Well, it's based on the fact that, you know, there are many cases like this. You're talking about the evil step parent idea. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lewis? Um, I mean, do we, do we know if, if it's more common that a stepchild is beaten? I mean, no, we don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying I'm actually surprised. It, it, most of the step relationships that I'm aware of, usually the step parent is definitely uh, involved in a way where the relationship is different such that you would, you would guess they would be less comfortable hitting the stepchild. Or more comfortable because they care less about the child. Okay, well, I guess that's the other side of it. Right. Okay, so um, let's look at some background here. Uh, Sheriff's Lieutenant Scott Shepard told the Imperial Valley Press that Sanchez was charged on Friday and is being held on $100,000 bail. Now, his attorney says there's more details yet to be revealed and he's cautioning against a rush to judgment. Now, since the story broke, Sanchez has resigned from his post. He was Imperial Irrigation District Director in California. Um, some are saying that because the kid went to the hospital and didn't have injuries, and that wasn't mentioned in the ABC story, but was allegedly mentioned in an NBC story, which I was not able to find, this is not really a big deal. The, guy, the kid wasn't injured. He went to the hospital and he wasn't injured, so therefore the guy never should have been arrested. Well, that's dumb just on the face of it. You can abuse a kid verbally and it'll scar him emotionally and he's not going to have to go to the, you know, the hospital to clear up any wounds. No it? question. So I think people making the argument that since ABC didn't report it, it must be exculpatory evidence and therefore the, the guy never should have been arrested. But patently absurd, Lewis. It's a, it's a con typical canard. Completely ridiculous. Okay. So uh, when you hear about something like this, do you agree that what should, that $100,000 bail and an arrest is proper? Does it sound high? Does it sound low to you? Uh, no, seems fine. Seems about right to you. Yeah, and I mean, if, if someone is, is whipping a kid with a belt because they dropped a, a ball playing catch, yeah, that seems fine. Would there be any reason why the same uh, 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 magnitude of beating would not justify a $100,000 bail and an arrest that you could even dream up? I mean, I, I guess that would depend on the age of the kid and, and what they did. I don't know. Really? Natan, what do you think? I don't know. What are you getting at? Oh, I have no are idea. I'm just, I was up? just wondering whether Lewis was basically getting at there are some times when a beating with a belt would be okay if it was for a reason other than dropping a baseball. Yeah, I think, uh, I think if you whipped a kid <clears throat> in the butt maybe, uh, maybe once or twice for doing something really, really bad, I mean... I could envision a situation in which that happens, but like something I said, like what? Doing something like, like what? Like I said, it depends on the age of the kid. Okay, let's say it's this this kid's age, but he does what? Uh, I can't imagine a kid this age it happening with a kid this age doing anything that bad. Right. Interesting. What do you think of that, Natan? 
well, I don't know, if he takes a butcher knife from the kitchen, runs outside and kills, you know, his friend Bobby from down the street. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe that would be bad enough, but maybe not for this. Maybe, you know, just to put him away in a mental hospital. Would there be anything non-criminal? Because that he would be, the police would get involved if he went down. I would hope him. so. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything. No. No, okay, all right. So we're basically talking about situations where he would be punished anyway by law enforcement, in theory. Not if he's a, a minor. Okay.